Time now to give women hope some love. UConn's Gino R.E.M. and nine wins shy of joining Pat Summick, Mike Krzyzewski, and Tara Vandevere as the only men's or women's D1 head coaches with 1,000 wins. Ohio State's Kelsey Mitchell starts the season with 975 points, shy of passing the Division I career scoring record set by Kelsey Plum last season. And meanwhile, Dawn Staley entering her 10th season at the helm of South Carolina. She led the Gamecocks to three SEC tournament titles, two Final Four appearances, and the program's first national championship last season. That title run led by this woman, and I'm just going to brag on her for a second, two-time All-American, two-time SEC Player of the Year, and a national champion, South Carolina's Asia Wilson. Thanks for being with us this morning. Congratulations on all of your success. Now you're a senior. I said, does it feel like you're a senior? Oh, no, it doesn't. It's flown by, but I'm taking it all in. I'm excited for this year. All right, well, take <laughs> us back to uh, April 2nd in Dallas. Yeah. What were you feeling when the final buzzer sounded? <laughs> um, I was crying my eyes out. I was being a crybaby, but I was just so overwhelmed and just excited with the emotions and seeing my teammates cheer and just know that all of our hard work that we've been through that year and that season really paid off at the end. And I, I was great. It felt great. Uh, I was just crying. Couldn't stop crying. That's literally the only thing I remember. <laughs> well, you got your rings finally yeah. this past Saturday, yeah. halftime of the football game. And I think your reaction was absolutely priceless. <laughs> what were you feeling when you held that thing for the first time? Um, it was amazing. Like, Coach kind of already seen them, so she really didn't let us see it. But, the, like, just open up the box and just seeing the ring and seeing all the diamonds, it was just amazing. I've never never seen that many diamonds before so and my mom kind of took it away from me so I, I don't have it. like how are you not rocking it right now <laughs> I'm kind of like nervous <laughs> to rock it right now but it's in a safe place and I I'm excited to just kind of get it and wear it one good time <laughs> well you talked about your coach and Don Staley yeah. she's an Olympic gold medalist I've been to the final four as a player and a coach what has her success meant to your team success now Oh, it's definitely meant the world. I mean, Coach has done so much for the women's basketball game and just having and just seeing the game just repay her in such a positive way. I'm excited. I'm I'm just blessed to have an opportunity to play for her and with her and then along with her. So I'm excited for my last year. It's kinda sad, bittersweet moment, but I'm excited to see what she has in store for us and uh can't wait to get playing. You're sitting here as the preseason player of the year favorite. How do you manage those expectations and all that pressure? Um, I just give it to my teammates and my coaching staff. They help me out a ton. They don't really let me get too high with the highs or too low with the lows. And I just kind of continue to try to be the Asian that I, that I can be uh, and just stay level-headed and calm and don't really focus on that. Just know I got to get the job done on the court. Uh, you're very close with your family. You've talked about your dad's influence on your career. Yeah. What's one thing when you look back that he said or did that's had the most impact on you? Um, definitely just to go big or go home, uh, don't, and just leave it all out on the floor. Uh, he, he really pushed me to my limits. Uh, I sometimes would not talk to him. I'll go to my mom crying. I'm like, I can't deal with dad anymore. Like he got to go. And my mom's like, no, he's trying to help you. So 20 pound then, vest, Mike and drills, right? <laughs> and at the time I really was not thinking that he was helping me, but now in college, I see it all pay off. So Big shout out to my dad and definitely my mom as well. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up that shout out too because he played in college. He played overseas for a decade. Yeah. Uh, he once had 35 rebounds in a game in college. You, you've had 19 twice. Yeah. So he, does he hold that 35 over <laughs> you? He's like, hey, yo, Asia. <laughs> probably, yeah. He probably focuses more on my free throws though. We need to look up his free throw percentage and I'm probably shooting better than him. <laughs> All right. Well, South Carolina <laughs> tips off the season next Friday, the 10th against Alabama State. Asia, thanks so much for your time this morning and best of luck to you this season. Thank you so much. <laughs>